Hi everybody, it's Jilly. I hope you're all well and happy and healthy and I hope you've had a very good week. Here in the UK it has been a heatwave again. We have a drought, um, so precautions have been made for that. I've been working in temperatures of up to 30 to 31, so it's Friday and I'm a bit tired, so I'm hoping I don't make any mistakes and if I do, I apologise in advance. So let's get started with this week's incoming mail. Now, the only official postcard I got was this one and the rest are friend swaps and there's a tiny little haul there for the end as well. So this one is from China and just look at these stamps. Um, they're absolutely amazing. I absolutely love them all. Some of them are on the side, like that one. Uh, more beautiful ones there. So this person, I better just check there's no addresses, I don't think there is. Right. So they sent me this lovely envelope and it's got a lot of writing on the back and I have no idea what that says. So, so they sent me a blue cat because they know I like blue cats and it's a blue cat with the Chinese dragon there. Enjoying this Chinese New Year and from China. Uh, this person lives in southwest China. It's the hometown of. Ah, I've dropped it. It's the hometown of pandas. I hope you, this arrives, the blue cat, I'm China. So obviously, this person, English isn't the first language, but fabulous language there because there's no way I could write in Chinese. So, so they sent me that and then they sent me this beautiful map of uh, a tourism. Isn't that lovely? Just makes me want to go there. We were looking at this on Sunday for my family. Just looking at it, it looks really good. So that's my official one. That was it. And the rest are all um, friend mail. So I'll, I'll start with the first one. You might recognise that little stamp. This is from Smokey and um, Smokey is a post crosser and he loves his stamps and he's also started a little YouTube channel as well. So there is his stamps there. Uh, to you from Stampaholic. <laughs> so let's see what he popped in this um, letter. So he sent me a lovely postcard. It just looks like a traditional star one with lots of lovely writing. And he sent this on the 3rd of August. And he says, I hope you're doing well. I thought you would, I would send you some stamps from my collection. Hopefully, these are some that you like. Yesterday, we had thunderstorms. So thank you, Smokey, for the lovely postcard. But look at these stamps he sent me. How lovely. So there's a variety of different ones there. Poland and places like that. I love this one. And there's a Looney Tunes one just sticking out there. I love them all, so that's brilliant. I don't know if I can lift it. Now Smokey will be rolling his eyes at me now as I pull this out. Oh, these are lovely. That one's caught my eye. Uh, look, a Smokey one. A uh, Smokey. Smokey Pig. And then there's some more here all over some quite vintage ones there as well isn't there and another and all trains i do like train postcards the postcard see i told you i was tired train stamps so smoky thank you so much i absolutely love what you sent me thank you so and the stamps on the envelope are amazing as well i like the star wars one so thank you there. The next one is from Lionica and she is a post crosser and this is a swap. So it's another blue cat one, look, and it looks like it's Christmas time. The postman is delivering all the lovely postcards there and everybody looks like they're loving it. <laughs> and there are the lovely stamps. They are gorgeous. Thank you so much. And these are from Russia. I love the bee. The bee there. 
thank you so much the next one is from Karina now Karina sent me this lovely boss guide now Karina just a, not very long ago a few months maybe has had a baby so she's a bit um, quiet at the moment because her hands are very full with a new baby but she knows I like steampunk so she sent me this lovely postcard look at that face it's absolutely beautiful and the decorations on the back and I love the stamp it's beautiful thank you so much the next one is from Eduardo and I absolutely love this it's a 3D style um, postcard as in it looks like it's a real box of crayons. I love it. And we have Crayola over here. And this is from Eduardo. And he said he was in one of the, he was in the, um, oh gosh, in the biggest mall in the USA, USA. And he found this postcard and thought he would send it to me and asked if we have Crayola over here. And the answer is yes, we do. The next one is from Rob. And there it is. This is one of the handmade postcards he received not so long ago. Look at the stamps, aren't they gorgeous? And he sent me something in here. He's, look, he's starting to use stickers now. We are training him well. So he sent me this postcard. And <laughs> what he said on the back made me laugh. He said... I took a selfie at the beach for you. I hope you like it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Look at that. How many days a week and hours does he have to stay in the gym to look like that? So he sent me that. Um, he also sent me some meetup cards from Prince Edward Island and he shared these not so long ago. So I was really happy that he sent me those. And each one's got the stamps on the back of the people that were there. I love the starfish one really nice there's another one from new brunswick the mini meat flower pots he calls those that's what people call them and there's some more stamps of the people that were there and names another one i love nighttime view so this is perfect for me thank you rob i love it and um he said three meetups in three days would have been so much too much driving i think he had right his cramp when you right when you wrote that one rob oh he wasn't able to get to this meetup but he did get a few cards so that's so kind of the people to send him some cards and there's another one i love that one i love this sort of artistry as well so really pleased with that and there's the stamps on the back again of everybody that was there love them thank you very much the next one is from our dear friend lewis and lewis sent this uh he got it from the emirates post but i think he sent this from dubai um oh man i'm not sure where anyway how amazing is this postcard i absolutely love it you've got this little row of children little girls here and it says our identity heritage and originality and rob um lewis goes on to explain what that means and what he says is today i got this postcard from the emirates post the postal is about the emirates folk and identity I think the girls in the picture are amazing in their typical uh, outfits. I love it so much. And Piquita says hello. But look at them stamps. So thank you. I absolutely love that. So basically the, the people that are, were originally from um, the um, United Arab Emirates, it's about their identity because there's a lot more different people that live there from different countries so that's what he was on about this is from the lovely bex now i can't remember i said i showed this last week i can't remember but i'm going to show it again <laughs> so it's blue cat from 2016 2017 and he's falling through the sky trying to catch bits of meat bits of sausage 
and she says, I know that you love the blue cats just as much as I do. So when I spotted this one, I had to send it to you. But look at the look at the stickers she put on. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I can't remember back if you sent it. Well, I've shown it twice. Sorry. <laughs> the next one is from Renee. Now, this card, when it came in the post, I thought, oh, wow, Ukraine. It's got a bit damaged in the postal system, but that's OK. I still love it. And I thought, oh, wow, I've never seen one of these like, like this before. So I thought it was bought, but actually Renee's made it herself. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's obviously we've got the UK in our hearts, haven't we, at the moment. And she said, it made me laugh. She said, today I am pro-crafting, where I avoid work by pulling out my crafting supplies. This is a simple card made with ink and some stickers. Like you, I feel we need to give the Ukraine in our thoughts. I cannot even imagine the horrors that they are going through and with much love. But look, she's even put little hearts on the back. There's a beautiful sunflower there. Oh, it's just gorgeous to think she's made this. I didn't even realise she'd made it until I read the back. I thought it was bought. So she's done a very, very expert job. And that is my favourite one this week. I don't even have to say any more. Uh, the next postcard is from Gorgeous Bex. Now, this came in the post today, and it's a cat, obviously, and we both are big cat fans. And the other day, I took a day, an afternoon off, and we met, Bex and I met in a Costa coffee shop, and we sat there for hours. And we talked, and we talked, and we talked. We'd been meaning to meet for a long time. And it was just like meeting an old friend. It was very relaxed, lovely. We got to see some Halloween goods in the store we were in and we even bought stickers because, you know, that's what we're all about. So she, she sent me this lovely card and she says she absolutely loved our meetup and she, we should do it again at least once a month and try and hit the charity shops because she knows I'm a charity shop addict. And there's the lovely sticker on the back. Now, when I met uh, Bex, Bex um, is starting up. She did have a channel and now she's going to start a new channel. So look out for that. But whilst I was with Bex, she sent me, she gave me these and the airmail stickers. But aren't they amazing? And they're shiny and beautiful and lovely. So we had a little exchange of goodies together. So I'm looking forward to using those. And my last one is from Tina and we did a swap. Um, and this is what she sent me. And I absolutely love this. Look at that so bright and vibrant i love berlin and she's put a peace sticker in the back and beautiful stamps that one reminds me of up gorgeous and um she says uh have you been to a lsd parade i was there with my sister i'm not sure about the rest of the writing i'm sorry i will read it again later but I love it. Thank you so much. So that is this week's postcards. And I got a lot of friend mail this week. And I was saying to Rob, uh, that's that dad guy. He'll have to look up his channel as well as Renee's channel. Um, and Smokey's channel as well. That I haven't had any posts, postcards registered at all. And then I've had two registered. So that means I can now finally um post some um postcards again where i was getting a bit concerned because i just hadn't had any so anyway so this is my favorite one because of the meaning behind this lovely handmade postcard the ukraine is in my heart and i hope we'll have answers and um peace very soon and my second one is this one of the beautiful lewis because I just love the meaning behind it. And I love the costume, the, the outfits of these little girls. And this one's full of mischief. And so, so is this one. And oh, they're just beautiful, aren't they? So that's this week's um, post. So then I went on to Etsy. And I did buy something from the Sticky, the sticky Bee again. But you know what? I can't remember what I bought of her. I think I bought these... Um, little like vintage style stickers if I can get in 
and if you, she's on Etsy and it's called the Sticky Bee, so you have to go and have a look at her stuff. That's where I got my bee washi tape from. So it's all just uh, things like this, but it's a bit steampunk, and I like steampunk, so I got them. I know I didn't need more stickers, but what can you do? And then when you get something, you always get a freebie. So I got some stickers. Aren't they lovely? So I've got more stickers. <laughs> Even more stickers. So I was very chuffed with that little order. I'll put them in there. And then I ordered... No, I can't remember who got these off in the fridge. But these are like strips of washi. And I thought, oh, they'd be quite good for the bottom of the postcard. Uh, I'll just pull one out. So it's like a long strip like that. And then you would get your postcard and you would layer it across and then you could trim off whichever bit you didn't want. But I thought they were really nice. And obviously you would put them on the back there. So that's that one. But I thought, I've never seen those before, so I must have them. They weren't expensive, so... Then I got some of these, um, like little flowers. I quite like putting these on the back of a postcard. So I'll just pull, pull one out. They're quite tricky to get hold of. I'll have to put them in something. So there they go. Really nice. There's lots of those for me to use up. And decorate friend mail and such like. So go back in. That's that one. It won't go in. Get back. Right, just leave it there. And then when I was with Bex on Tuesday, we went into the hobby craft shop and I bought some stickers. And I think they were all a pound each. But I quite like these because they were like the stars as well as the animals and things like that. So I like that one. Some autumn theme. Again, because I like them. And then we saw these, I think these were a pound, and they were like little um, wooden soldiers, nutcrackers, for, um, for Christmas time. And then last but not least, on Etsy I bought some, this is because Bex sent me a postcard with a lovely label on, so I had a look on Etsy and I saw these and I thought they'd be quite nice to put the addresses on, on friend mail or um, postcards, and some lovely little bees on a flower. So yeah, so this is this week's post frosting video of incoming mail with a tiny haul stuck on the back because there's not enough to really do a big another video. So I hope you liked it. Let me know what your favourite postcard was. Um, I would like to know. Um, as I say, I've got so many, I'm really happy. So that is my favourite one and this one's my second favourite. I loved the mail I got from Rob and um, Smokey as well, especially Smokey being so generous with the stamps. That was really kind of him. So guys, that is this week's post crossing, incoming mail and a very small haul. Please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what which one's your favourite as well. And until the next time, bye bye now, bye bye.